Oh, it's the dodgy people. We are the dodgy people. He is no longer one of us. Yes, he dares to go against the objective, just like the other one. We can still activate the key. We must do something about the one who stands in our way. We must eliminate Cain. But we cannot stand up to his power. Only Cain can destroy Cain. So mother will do... So mother, will you do it for us? Maybe, but Quillian did say anything. Something concerning the potential ability as a countervailing existence. With everything focusing towards a single point. I see. We're talking about Ramses, who's a clone. The car is still shaken up by yesterday's debate against Ray. We are almost ready. I need just a little bit more time. Then we'll wait. We'll wait till the time is right. Oh yeah. Grilling. A counter failing existence. That Miang, what's she up to? I had better warn the commander. Out of the way. Let me through. That bastard. I'll hunt him out myself. Please calm down, Commander. We'll take care of him and his friends. What could you fools do, imbeciles? Only I can defeat him. Only I, who transcends all other humans, can possibly take him down. Move. Commander, wait! Yeah, they no move for your shit today. While Faye and the others search for the resting place of the last known anima relic, I temporarily returned to Nissan. I don't know why I went back, just I had this stirring within my heart that some danger was awaiting the people there. All the people accepted into Nissan were on the road to recovery. There were still those who were not able to completely recover, but Cora's nanomachines continued to evolve from day to day. Thanks to the nanomachines, the treatment were becoming more and more successful, and the day when everyone would regain their original bodily form was approaching. A trembling. There was a sudden explosion in the city of Nissan. Within the burning fire stood a gold Omnigear. It was Ramses. He assaulted Nissan so that he could defeat Fay. His purpose of existence was at stake. The Nissan and Shabbat mili militia, even Rink and friends from Solaris who now served to protect Nissan, could not thwart the assault. The people were yeah, evacuated to the cathedral. Continuing to search for Fay, Ramses put the militia to rout and pressed on towards the cathedral. He was ruined. He had his mind set solely on getting at Fay. I stood before him. Where, where is he? I know it. He's here. Why does he not come out? Because he's not here. Ramses, the Fae you seek is not here, so please stop this meaningless violence. You, yes, you will do. I'll kick your ass instead. Well, you'll try. Come out, Fae. I will not come out. Come out. I will crush Aliham. If you will not come out, that's what I'm read. Uh, oh, whatever. Yes. Boss. Keep back. Not coming out, eh? Have it your way. Then from tonight on, you'll be crying with this woman's dead body in your arms. How the... What, what happened? Why can't I move? Early. Are you okay? How, how, how could I... To the likes of you? 
No, not only to him, but I'm also inferior to you, me. What happened to you, Ramses? Why are you caught up with Faye so much? Why are you so bothered by who is more superior? I was originally created by the integra integ integration, yeah, integration of all human abilities to be able to align with all of the animal relics. I was created to have the powers equivalent to those of Emperor Kane. You could say I was to be the ideal form which all people strive to become. However, once he was born, I was rejected. I was given life in a pile of trash. Born in the dark, cold abyss of worthlessness. But I was, all, I was able to crawl out of there. I was able to survive my own on my own strength in order to get back all those who have forsaken me. Despite all of that, I was able to meet this far. I was able to provide myself with a walk that I required to continue living. But he had to come and intervene in my life once more. He tried to take that very walk away from me again. As long as he exists, I don't belong anywhere. I think I know why you are so fixated with Faye. You do not really know what you should be doing with your life right now. You are simply trying to protect yourself by attacking Faye. But attacking others, you are confirming your own existence. That's why you strive to be able to be above everyone else. Because otherwise you'd be enveloped by a void. Because you yourself will disappear because that emptiness within your heart will grow, only grow, because you want to hang on to love. Silence! Even you have tried to take it away from me, that warmth, that very warmth I finally obtained. Ramses, no one is attacking you. No one is trying to take away what is so precious to you. No one is threatening your existence. It is all in your mind, so don't hide the feelings that are in your heart. Don't fear love. <laughs> you, now you, ah! Ramses was in fear. He feared losing the place he belonged to. He feared that Faye was the one who would take it away from him. He believed love was something you take. He craved love more than anyone else. Well, I don't know about love, more like sex. Worthless. Trash. Reject. Why even bother existing? Defect. Be gone. We have no use for you. Our trash is more worth to us than you. Really? Yeah, whatever. Car, don't worry. I'll always be by your side. No one knows you better than I do, so don't. Miang, is this, is this all I can do? Is this the extent of my strength and abilities? I couldn't beat him, and in front of that woman, I couldn't even do a thing. Is this the limits of my existence, my abilities? Mm, yeah. You're the same as Cain, an archetype that surpasses all humans. I made you in the same way. But he is the one who is preventing you from f f fully releasing your powers. Divided powers. That man was your original form, the primordial superior being. If you could defeat him, then you would be... Yes. Even your superior constitution, the existence of the original being hinders you. If you could eliminate the divided power, then would all yours... Yeah, would then it would all be yours. Don't you agree, Carl? Okay. That yeah, sounds cool. I am a power-hungry megamaniac. 
Let me just. Having completed the alignment of the first Anima Relic with Billy, there was a remarkable change in the appearance and structure of Billy's gear, well, same as everyone else's. They were units that merged with the inorganic. Of course, we had no idea what purpose these ancient Anima Relics were created for, but the fact that they played some kind of role as weapons was blatantly obvious. Eventually their true power will be released, but we cannot allow this power to fall into the hands of evil. In order to obtain the final relic, we headed for a ruin that is believed to be almost 10,000 years old. The remains of the first civilization on our planet and a reunion with an old friend awaited us. Anyway, I'm going to save that for today, and I shall see you next time. You all take care now, you hear? Bye-bye!